The Pale Blue Eye by Louis Bayard was published in 2003, and a brand new film adaptation was just released on Netflix starring Christian Bale. The Pale Blue Eye takes place in New York in 1830 and is about a retired New York City constable who is pulled out of retirement to investigate a gruesome crime committed at the United States Military Academy at West Point. Which one is better? How does the movie compare to the book? Stay tuned to find out. But first, this video will contain minor spoilers, especially if you haven't read the book, so here's your warning. Also, before we begin, please like and subscribe. The title, The Pale Blue Eye, has significance to characters in the novel, but it's also a reference to Edgar Allan Poe's famous short story, The Telltale Heart, which is about a narrator who kills an old man because of his vulture-like blue eye that drove him mad. And this novel, I believe, is supposed to kind of be a fictional telling of events that inspired that short story because Edgar Allan Poe is a character in this novel. He is a young cadet at West Point, and he actually was a cadet for a short time in real life at West Point. This book hooked me right away. You're only a few pages in before the main character, Gus Landor, is brought to West Point and informed of what's going on and what's needed of him. I really liked this book. It is deeply engrossing. The characters are very interesting. It is darkly funny at times. It's highly entertaining and it had me scratching my head throughout. The book is written in the first person from the point of view of Gus Landor, uh, but it also has some sections of the book that are written from Poe's perspective in the form of correspondences that he writes to Landor because they're working together to solve this mystery. And I thought that the change in voices when Bayard switches between Landor and Poe was really well done because they're so distinct in the way that they speak. You actually really feel like it's the way that Edgar Allan Poe would have spoken. I also loved the way that Landor spoke to the reader as he refers to us throughout the novel. His narration is uh, pretty comical at times. Maybe not comical, but he has this kind of dark, uh, very dry sense of humor throughout the book, even while dealing with insanely serious subject matter. I'm not going to spoil the twist ending because that's no fun for anybody, but if you've read it, you know what it is. If you've seen the movie, you know what it is. It's a great twist ending, and it's the kind of ending that really made me want to reread the book almost immediately to see how it all worked after having that knowledge. Okay, now the movie. The movie was written and directed by Scott Cooper. Gus Landor is played by Christian Bale. Edgar Allan Poe is played by Harry Melling. Captain Hitchcock is played by Simon McBurney. Leah is played by Lucy Boynton. You've also got Toby Jones as Dr. Marquis, Gillian Anderson as Mrs. Marquis, and Robert Duvall as Jean Pepe instead of Professor Papa, a choice I didn't much care for and didn't really make a lot of sense to me why they did that. The movie is okay. It follows the book pretty closely, I will say that, but there wasn't really anything special about it. Costumes are good, the acting is fine, but honestly I thought this movie was kind of boring and not just because I had just read the book and knew everything that was going to happen in the film, because usually I really enjoy seeing a book come to life on the screen. Not this one, though. It was bland. It lacked a certain charm that the book had. There was no life to it. It followed the beats of the book, and that was it. The book was dark, but it had a certain lightness to it. This movie is grim throughout. Like I mentioned how much I enjoyed Landor's narration. There is no narration in this movie, and I think it would have been better maybe if Bale's Landor had some voiceover narration throughout the movie. And let me get to Bale. I didn't really love Christian Bale's portrayal of Landor. Landor in the book, like I mentioned, has this sense of humor, and Bale plays him very 
morose and depressed throughout, which does make sense for his character, but like I said, the Landor in the book is kind of playful at times. I think part of what made this movie boring, to me at least, is that a lot of the really exciting parts of the book were not in the movie. A lot of the movie is just characters standing around talking. Moments in the book that didn't make it into the movie include uh, one of Poe and Landor's first meetings with each other where Poe scales the walls of his cottage and climbs in through the window. A really funny moment in the book, not in the movie. When Hitchcock and Landor find a heart in Artemis's chest in his dorm room and then they're locked inside and a bomb is placed outside the door, that's not in the movie. The closet saber attack scene in the book one of the most fun parts of the book, not in the movie, which was really disappointing because I was really excited to see how they were gonna film that. A really thrilling moment where Landor saves Leah from falling off of a cliff, pulls her back up the side of it, not in the movie. The dinner party at Governor Campbell's house, not in the film. They kind of combine certain elements from that into some other scenes in the film. Also, the climax of the movie is a little different. Certain characters are not crushed by blocks of ice like they were in the novel, which was described in pretty gory detail and left a pretty lasting impression on me. But unlike the book, this movie did not leave a lasting impression on me. And the decision for this one was pretty easy. I enjoyed the book way more than the movie. The best movie adaptations of books usually, or a lot of times involve some contributions from the book's author into the screenplay. Not this time. Bayard did not contribute to the screenplay of this movie, and I think it maybe suffered because of that. What are your thoughts? Have you read the book or seen the movie? Maybe both? Give me your thoughts in the comments below. I'm also interested in people who haven't read the book but have seen the movie. Did you like the movie? Let me know why or why not in the comments below. Stay tuned for more videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you later.